pretty kitty this is my vlog where I talk about all the things I love about sewing and this week I have some plans for you because I have the knitting and stitching show tomorrow at Alexandra Palace in London and I cannot wait I'm so excited about that so I'm going to tell you what sort of plans things I'm going to be looking out for whilst I'm there also I had this itch I just had to scratch. I was sitting watching telly one evening, I had been looking on Pinterest for some ideas, come across this really fabulous inspiration photo which I will slot in here. Um, leopard print, uh, if you watch my last video you'll know that I bought a pair of leopard print shoes which sort of started off this whole obsession with animal prints and I could not get my head to stop thinking about a leopard print maxi skirt of dreams and I kept on thinking about it and I thought no I will wait till I get to the knitting and stitching show I will save myself for all the fabric goodness for when I get up there but I just I couldn't wait any longer and I had to go into fabric land and I picked up some really cool lycra uh, I get that this is not everybody's taste but I just think leopard print, if you wear it in the right way, it can be kind of chic and a little bit sort of edgy. I feel great when I wear this skirt. You have to make sure when you pair it, you pair it with sort of um, the right accessories so it's not all a bit too much and a bit pat butchery. Uh, if for those of you that don't know, she's a character in a soap that was very leopard printy and blingy and big earrings and stuff. So. Um, yeah, this is the skirt I made. Um, if you look at my channel list, you'll find there is a video on there uh, where I made a maxi skirt using this pattern, which is a new look pattern K6348. And um, I was not at all keen on this tie detail on the front, but it's pretty easy to hack this pattern into just a straightforward skirt. In fact, it's just two pieces and a waistband. So what I have done with this pattern is I have self-drafted my own yoga waistband um, because this pattern actually suggests you put elastic in and I don't like elasticated skirts very much. Um, so I all I did was uh, chop the top of the pattern and then make myself my own yoga waistband. So sort of similar in the way that you would make a um, cuff or a waistband on a um, knitted garment like a sweatshirt or something so it's the other way up so I will stand up and show you it's really long this skirt so I will have to insert a picture of me sort of twirling so that you can see the full length but here we go leopard print oh, I just love this skirt so um, I will insert a picture of me uh, maybe a still or a video of me uh, full length so you can see the full effect but I'll show you the waistband this is what I mean by a yoga waistband so it's literally just a band of fabric that um, is like a waistband except you pop it on and um, there is no elastic in it it's just held up by the lycra and because I'm always going to wear this skirt with a um, probably this roll neck which is a ready to wear roll neck I can't remember where I got it from um, you can get them anywhere. So, um, yeah, I'm never going to show the waistband, I don't think. One thing I could have done, perhaps, is I could have sized down. It's it's not quite as tight around the waist. Uh, it makes it super comfortable. But because it's lycra, um, it has so much stretch in it. I could probably have gone down a size and it still would have fitted really nicely. Um, so, yeah, I hope you like my leopard print maxi skirt of dreams. Um, that's one of the things I love most about sewing. You can have an idea of something that you really want in your wardrobe and you can just make it. Just do it. Cost me £7.95 £7 I think. Maybe a tad more. I think I bought a metre and a quarter or something like that to make this skirt. So it's really sort of economical and cheap but I, I love the way it looks so I hope you agree. So moving on, um, this week's inspiration, so I'm sorry about this because I know that a lot of you have been contacting me with your um, animal prints, especially Alex of uh, Gingerhead & Co. She is loving an animal print at the moment, so um, I'm hoping that you will agree that this next item, which is ready to wear, which I found in New Look as well, um, is going to inspire lots more autumn sewing. So I quite like to 
grab um, accessories and pieces and then just build the outfit around it. So I found this scarf and it's a tartan scarf. It's really soft and lovely. It's a mustardy yellow with grey um, tartan and I just think that is going to just look so lovely in the winter with a big grey toaster sweater and um, jeans or um, yeah, uh, I'll put some more, I've been on Pinterest quite a lot lately, so I'll try and uh, put some more pictures in here of all the sorts of things that have been inspiring me. But this sort of preppy, almost Harry, Harry Pottery kind of tartan look is really, yeah, making me excited to accessorise with this scarf. So watch this space for more items to go with this scarf. But that's my piece of inspiration for this week. So when it comes to a knitting and stitching show, I am trying to be mindful about what I'm going to buy. I know that's the whole, the whole idea behind it is that I will have a list and that I will go thoughtfully with ideas of mind, but you know, that's probably not going to happen. I'm probably going to see all the pretty things and just want to buy stuff without really any idea what I'm going to do with it. So I need to make a list of a couple of absolutes that I need to buy because they've been on my to make list for such a long time that I really want to get them done this winter. So one of those is the coat that I spoke about in my last vlog, the children's Fox the Bear and the Bunny Fox Duffel Coat. Um, pop back and have a look at my last uh, video if you're not sure and I'll pop a picture of it here. Um, I need some rusty orangey coloured corduroy I think to make that. Now I was hoping that I would be able to make a large one, the biggest size they do, I think it goes up it's four to five. My daughter is um, nearly seven so, um, but going by the measurements on the pattern I think if I lengthen the sleeves there'll be plenty of ease in the coat for her to wear it and I was kind of hoping to only have to make one coat and they could both share it so my youngest two um seven and a five-year-old so I was thinking once the seven-year-old's grown out of it the five-year-old could wear it but they typically don't like the same things she doesn't want to wear a fox coat she wants a cat coat and I do actually have some black corduroy in my stash already so I think I'd probably make a black one for her with little cat ears and it's kind of cool because we've just got a black cat um Jinx who was in the last video. So for my little boy I think I'm going to go for a fox because foxes are kind of cool. He's got like gingery auburn hair and I think it would look funky with um, like a rusty coloured corduroy. So that's on my list of things to find at Alexandra Palace tomorrow. Also I have this fabulous fabric my husband bought me last Christmas from myfabrics.co.uk which is a sweater knit fabric with beautiful birds all over it. It's a lovely shade of sort of charcoal grey and um, the birds, some of them are silvery so it's kind of a Christmassy fabric, makes me feel a bit festive. It's got a um, nice bit of weight to it and I've been umming and ahhing because he's got me two metres of this and I really don't want to cut into it until I've made sure exactly what I want to make. So one of the patterns I've been interested in making up is the Nina Lee Southbank sweater dress. Uh, Amanda from my Sew Lots made lots of versions of that dress and they always look lovely on her. So um, I'll pop a picture of that here. Um, it's a nice sort of, um, I, I'm not sure if it's a roll neck or a um, turtleneck top, but it's literally just like a long line sweater and I think I'll wear that sort of thing quite a lot through the autumn and winter with a pair of boots and I was thinking maybe this would look nice in a sweater dress. Equally I did wonder whether or not to make a coat again with it because it's 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 heavy enough for that but yeah I'm not sure but I definitely want to try the Nina Lee um, sweater dress pattern so that's on my list of things to find at Alexandra Palace tomorrow. Um, what else to say? What else is I going to look for? Oh, I really want some, so I've got the Tilling the Buttons Zadie uh, dress pattern. Again, I will pop a picture here. Um, the Zadie is like a colour blocked um, jersey dress and it's quite clever in that if you arrange the panels it can be quite flattering and sort of like bring you in at the waist 
Um, I'll pop my Pinterest inspiration picture up here. I really want a black and grey one, I think. Um, I think that will look nice. And um, I can't remember who makes it, but one, one of the companies do like a bias tape, stay tape, that you can buy, which is a bit like bias binding on a roll, except a stay tape for necklines and pockets and things. And you definitely need stay tape of some sort or interfacing on the pockets of the Zadie dress because they are diagonally cut on jersey so you don't want that stretching out they just end up longer and longer and longer so um, I want to get some of that tomorrow um, I bought so moving on exciting news I bought a prim what do you call it they're, I think they're prim pliers they're for putting snaps on clothing or poppers or whatever you like to call them. And um, I don't really know why I wanted these or what I'm going to do with them. But I just figured, you know, it's one piece of kit that I didn't have in my arsenal and I had to have it. Because Lucy of Made by Lucy had a little sale on. So um, I'll pop her details down here. And I thought, well, I'll give them a go. Um, bought some snaps to go with them, just plain, can you see that, blue ones? Because I was thinking maybe it would be more children's clothes, although um, you could use them instead of buttons and zips on garments and things like that. So it might come in helpful for that. So I might be looking for more prim snaps whilst I'm there tomorrow. Um, yeah. Gosh, I feel so excited. Can you tell? I can't wait to go. Um, so, interesting or exciting news. I am collaborating with Lucy of Made by Lucy and we are running So Swap It, which is going to be an event at um, a local shopping village in Wilton. Um, and we are hosting an opportunity for like-minded sewists and people who love to talk about sewing and want to meet some friends in the area um, to bring along anything that they don't use anymore or isn't to their taste or that they just realise that they bought and then changed their mind about. Things like patterns. Um, sometimes you get sewing patterns with magazines that are, you know you know you're probably not going to make up so you could swap those um, books the actual magazines themselves I know I've got stacks of magazines here that um, I'm happy to swap because I've read them so that's a, a good idea fabric notions anything anybody's got that they've decided that actually they don't need or they'd like they prefer to swap it for something different so I'm really hoping fingers crossed enough people come along um, on the 28th of this month, so that's October, to Wilton Shopping Village to see Lucy and I and um, have an opportunity to swap all your sewing goodies. So do come along if you can, I'd be so pleased to meet you. And um, check Lucy's website, she's on Facebook, made by Lucy, she's got an Etsy shop as well. And um, hopefully I'll see anybody that lives in the local area. So Wilton is kind of near Salisbury, which is in the south of the UK. So, um, yeah, hoping to meet lots of people there. I think that's it for today. Can't think of anything else. The next video is probably going to be all about the knitting and stitching show. So um, a haul video with all the goodies that I come back with. And I've saved my pennies up so I can really splurge and go mad. Um, thanks very much for watching today guys. If you like my video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already press the subscribe button because that really helps and there's also a bell there for notifications for the next video so that you don't miss anything and um, follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram tag down here so you can keep up with all the bits and pieces that happen during the week uh, to do with sewing on there. Thanks very much then, bye!